So folks, it's been a long while since I actually do video requests and well, this one's a video request and it is from Luca Entertainment, even though that's not what it's called. It's called her, the new name is called Scooby-Doo Fan since day one. All right. So there's a brand new series. The brand new series is my best friend Scooby-Doo Stranded. So he got season one, episode one. It's amazing that there is a lot of changes, changes for the better, because now, the, now you incorporated visuals. There's no more watermark. That watermark is a jerk. Fillmore, you were jerk. I even tried to use Fillmore and I think Fillmore actually would have worked, but it was either me going with this black screen for so many months or have Fillmore be like, Hey, look at me. I'm here. Fillmore watermark. You see? And I'm like, yeah, I'd rather prefer to go black screen than have a watermark. I mean, my gosh, that, that was just so. So anyways, yes, the watermark is gone. Yes. Awesome. And new visuals. Yes. Visuals has been included from visuals, the house slash mansion. That was pretty awesome. The title screen. Nice. You got a title screen in and also used on the meanwhile. There was a painting you put in there. That was awesome. The vanishing effect. And then we got to talk about the special effects. I mean, the sound effects, the sound effects. Well, those are new too. And wow, you got one from back in the day of Scooby Doo. That's awesome as well. That was awesome. The background that you use, which, of course, well, for people who most likely know, uh, you most likely could tell where it was filmed. But me, I'm like, you know, it does bring some interesting texture. Usually when it came to the previous series and everything at the vibe that I never talked about of Action League now. And oh, man, I miss Action League now. If I actually had a proper bedroom and a proper team, I would do Action League now. I would most likely have a brand new Action League now where let's just do it. And if Nickelodeon's like, oh, screw you, man, that's ours. I'm like, no, it's not. I have new figures. I have figures that's been with me since I was very little. And it was a team that I created all by myself. You can't sue me. The only messed up part is we kind of don't have a girl. Anyways, back to this one. So the props, you used the props in the, one of the props was, it was big for, and lots of people could complain about it. But on the other hand, I think it was pretty funny. That was such a big letter. So you could actually look at it. It's a very small one. Uh, details, man, just details. And the ghost was made of toilet paper. That was funny, but it does have an interesting payoff. And I say that was awesome. You were doing that was very awesome. The interesting way of how to actually step it up would most likely be making it out of fabric. But my gosh, that would you have to be a complete seamstress genius to do that or call one of Cinderella's rats friends. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no. They were only able to make the dress. She was the one that made the little hats. So technically you have to call Cinderella if you wanted that. <laughs> uh, and the block guys are back. So you, wow, you have four block guys. I didn't know. It's like, I only saw two from the last series. So there's a family. Wow, and they are family. I'm like, oh, that that's pretty cool, too. Okay, and the one thing that was kind of crazy is like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. The mansion is owned by Osborne. Oh, God, the Green Goblin's here. The Green Goblin's going to kill them all. Run for your life. <laughs> uh, luckily for us, when it comes to Scooby-Doo continuity, only DC bad guys can screw over Scooby-Doo, not Marvel. Marvel never actually had any touching with Scooby-Doo. So if there was like the Joker family and, or it was like, uh, Edward Nigma or the Nigma mansion, it's like, Oh, good God. The Riddler is the Riddler's mansion. <laughs> oh man. So let's see. Uh, anything else I forgot? Well, one downside is, well, is okay. But the voices are the same, and Fred and Daphne, I think I never heard their voices before, at least not a long period of time, so I can't really say anything about that. Shaggy and Scooby are pretty much the same, still nailed. Velma's changed, though. That's interesting. Velma's kind of changed. 
But hey, I mean, when it comes to Scooby Doo continuity and everything, doesn't their voices always change when it comes to a new se- series? So I guess sure do. My gosh, be cool, Scooby Doo was the last attempt and it got shot down. Mystery Inc. was before that, and that got shot down, too. And Mystery Inc. was cool. So, I don't know. I still kind of like Cartoon Network to admit, um, Be Cool Scooby-Doo was funded by Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> if they say that, I will be like, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Most likely, they'll never will. Okay, as for the story, the story is pretty interesting. The fact of their car broke down. They have no choice but to live well, not live, they actually have to stay there in the mansion, which, of course, some people who are kind of continuity buffs will most likely say, well, did they call a mechanic? I mean, if the van is basically broke down, they kind of should have called a mechanic somewhere in that. Thing. Other hand, it's like, they love a mystery, so chances are that there's lots of mysteries in that mansion. So, why not check that out? I mean, there's lots of things we could point out, like, well, if they just wanted to be, well, they are stranded. It's like, it's called stranded, so it makes sense. It's better than the whole, well, they just got there, and the family wanted to learn all the secrets that there are, and that doesn't make sense. That This is a good one. This is a good one. There's a fight scene. What? Yes, Velma and Daphne both fought, and I'm like, oh, you know, it would be cool if it lasted longer. (laughs) And let's see, there's a chase scene. The chase scene was quite funny. Got rid of the dancing, though. That's kind of sad. But hey, the chase scene is still funny. And oh, it was so funny of the fourth wall breaker where they were like hinting there will be more episodes to come. Now, as for the monster reveal, again, I, I think I couldn't have guessed this one. Yeah, this one I couldn't actually guess. So that means you did a proper job because usually when it comes to Scooby Doo episodes, I rarely can actually guess who the person was that did it. I guess basically it's because I am enthralled with the story to even care of guessing. It's like, let's just see how this goes. That's it. I'm not like a person who's like, all right, who did it? Who did it? What's the crime? Who did it? It's like, yeah, I never was like that. So the ghost prop was used very cleverly. It was awesome. That was very cool. So the last part was the whole meddling mascot. That that was funny. I never heard that ever in my life. <laughs> meddling mascot. Oh, man. So <laughs> I guess that was time to say like or don't like or watch or don't watch. I would say if you actually like to, if you're there and you actually like to support a small YouTuber and soon to be stop motion i think you should definitely go check out this and it'll be down below in the description and everything so yeah definitely go check it out as for like some in quotations criticism and stuff it's like well yeah i think yeah it's pretty okay i mean using what you got but of course it's like i always say um Goodwill, Salvation Army, any thrift store, you're able to get like some random stuff at times. And it's like, yep, you're able to get some random action figures and you could just continue to gather them. I mean, just previously, I actually got John Cena and The Rock. And I'm like, whoa. Yeah. And I could have got more, but um, I think the ro- that Rock was too, the one that I didn't get it was too a bit, you know, I mean, He's able to spin around as if he's like some kind of, um, I'll say the fair version of a swing set. Yeah, the thing where it goes around and around and around. That's what he's able to do if I would just twirl around. It's like his upper body would just spin around. I'm like, what the? No, 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 no. (laughs) I'm going too far with all the. So anyways, yes. Thank you for watching, folks. Most likely there will be a next one of these coming soon. And again, hope you guys enjoy Pokemon Week because it is Pokemon Week where I'm going to talk about all of the starters in every single region. Have a great day, folks.